What's up everyone? Welcome to day two of Spark Week, a week-long celebration of innovation and reveals of Aesop's all-new product lineup. Just like you, these products challenge the ordinary and find new ways to work. Yesterday, we revealed three new machines that give you more welding freedom. If you missed it, you can find yesterday's video at esob.com slash sparkweek. Today, we're unveiling four more revolutionary products. Remember, you can throw any questions into the chat and our product managers will answer them in real time. And don't forget, we have a Spark Week giveaway, so be sure to check the Spark Week website afterwards. Let me tell you, there is no better place to be right now to witness where the industry is headed. Let's get into it. Do you work in a shop that's automating a lot of its welding? If so, you're going to want to pay attention. Six years ago, Aesop rolled out Purus, a high quality MIG mag welding wire that up-leveled performance, particularly on the robotics front. But if there's one thing I know about Aesop is that they're always looking to push the boundaries of performance. As you know, there are a lot of factors that go into the productivity of a shop. Starting and stopping, changing consumable parts, reworking mistakes, post-weld cleanup, and so much more really comes down to the wire that you're using. So Aesop set out to find one solution for all of this and roll it all up onto one spool that can drive efficiency like no other. Introducing the better than ever, Purus. This premium wire is designed to decrease the number of tip changes you make in a year, reduce the amount of imperfections in the weld, and lower silica islands. Now those are big claims that Joe Cachopo, project manager, has come here to make about Purist wire. So let's hear it, let's throw down. What's, how can you say that about just a simple welding Here's wire? Here's how we can say it, Ian. We've got an enhanced copper coating process now for our Purist wires. It results in a very smooth feed, uh, much improved tip life, less copper flaking in the liners and, and, and therefore you get more uptime and uh, a better looking weld. So let's talk a little bit about each one of these claims. We can break them down. So uh, decrease the number of tip changes. What about this wire is going to decrease the number of tip changes that I need to make in an automated welding set? Sure, a couple things. I mean, again, the smooth feeding results in less wear on the tips. There's less copper flaking that has, is less resistant and ultimately the less time you have to spend changing tips, especially in an automated uh, welding type of environment like an automotive company, for example. 
Um, that's how they make money. So more uptime because the robots are rolling and the wires pushing. That's what it is. No one has to go there, take the tip out, blow out the liners, take the whole line back down, bring it back up again. It just runs. All right. So now let's talk about Silica Islands. What about this wire helps eliminate that issue? That's really a function of a very tight specification for steel chemistry that we adhere to. And that's what goes into this product. So this is basically designed around robotic automated welding. So there's at that point, there's no operator to blame if there's a problem with the weld. It's all boils down to the wire, right? True. I mean, this is an ideal solution for uh, an automated welding application where uptime is critical and you don't want to have to spend any time, you know, fixing anything that, that needs to be maintained or if the line goes down for any reason, this will help, you know, basically make the company money. So those are the first two claims. So obviously making money is important, but also just as important is not having a lot of defects in the welds. So that last claim was reduced defects. How is a simple welding wire going to do that? Well, again, a very smooth feeding wire that has less copper flaking and has less uh, issues with tip life will just give you a better, a better weld more consistently that result in less defects. Copper flakes result in weld imperfections, for example. Because at the end of the day, you want the wire copper coated because then it gets through the liner smoother, gets out the tip smoother, stores longer when it's copper coated. But that copper also can be detrimental to the finished weld. It can be, but again, I think it comes back down to a, a proper and extremely well-controlled steel chemistry. That's, th this product has it. When we're talking about automated welding, the biggest question that always comes up is, is feeding and feed characteristics. And we're look, like I said before, we're looking at a spool, but it's also in a, a marathon pack. So how is the feed characteristics of this wire different? This is ESAB's premium copper coated wire. Because of the enhanced copper coating process that we've developed, it gives you the most consistent coating and therefore the smoothest feeding, the longest running. That's how, that's how that claim gets made and that's how it's done. And whether it's on a 33 pound spool or 52 miles in a box. Exactly the it's same way. It's all coming out smooth and ready to burn. Smooth and running. I like that. You can use that. Smooth and ready to burn. I'm going to use that one. Right now we're looking at a copper coated wire. We've talked about, you know, copper flaking being an issue. So uh, Purus is available copper coated and non. At what application do you use each one? The applications, I mean, can be similar. We do see them in the same places. It really comes down to a, a welder engineer preference for whether they want a copper coated or a copper free. It's the same steel chemistry with type, type parameters used for both of the wires. It really just comes down to the, the, the choice of that shop. Probably also depends on the, uh, the moisture of the area. Arizona, there probably wouldn't be a lot of worry of rust in the machine on that. No, I would, wouldn't think so. No, no, but up in Canada, that stuff would rust like that. <laughs> It'd be gone. Maybe on an ocean, sure. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. It's been great talking to you about filler metals. Remember, Purus is wired to perform, and this premium wire is ready now in either spool or a drum for your shop. While we're on the topic of drums, let's talk about the packaging your wire comes in. When Aesop launched the iconic octagonal marathon pack more than 30 years ago, it took bulk packaging by storm and became the industry benchmark. Now Aesop is leveling it up by putting more product on the inside and stronger materials on the outside. Introducing Marathon Pack Ultra. Joe, tell me a little bit more about this new reinforced packaging on the Marathon Pack Ultra. Uh, I will, Ian. It's more than really just reinforced packaging. It's an entire feature set that was based around the traditional shape of the Marathon Pack that ESAB has been sort of famous for for all this time. More robust packaging, uh, easier for better lifting, stackability, 
uh, you know, wire um, monitoring internally, the, the whole sort of package that our customers are looking for. And this is not just reinforced pipe, there's actually more wire in here now, right? Correct, there's 22% more wire versus most of our previous packages. So you're gonna get more wire, bigger package, better for transport, and uh, how much wire can you fit in here? In terms of miles? Yes. About 52 miles. 52 miles of wire. That's so a, lot a few of welding. feet. That's a lot, That's a lot, of, lot welding. of welding. So when someone gets one of these, they get it set up and they, and they get it, like you said, that it's easy to monitor. Um, you know, they're basically setting this in place. What are some of the uh, issues that you addressed with this packaging that you heard from your customers? Certainly, I think the, just the overall robustness, rigidity of the package, the way it's been reinforced. Um, it's sometimes in a shop environment, the, the, the box has to be moved, sometimes they can fall over. When it falls over, usually it's over at that point for being able to use any of that wire. And a, a customer makes a significant investment in a box of wire of that size. It, it's always a customer using an you know, automated or robotic application. Uptime is very important to them. They know very well what their downtime looks like, so they need it to be running all the time. So you said 22% more wires, there's more wire in this, so does this cost more than the previous generation? On, on, a, per, on a per unit basis, per kilogram or per pound, no, It'll, it would cost the same for the customer. So I'm getting more wire, better packaging for basically the same price. So I'm getting all the win-wins here, and it's bright yellow, which I, I, I like. Yes, it's got, the, it's got the yellow that you want. And you said something about the corners in this are different, right? Yeah, re reinforced corners. It's actually been uh, rated to an ISTA 3E standard, which is just a, a fancy way of saying it's been robustly tested so that when it's being transported, it's uh, very safe, very free from uh, tipping. And if it does tip, it you know, has a chance to come back to a, a, a better place without the wire shifting around internally. That's kind of the idea. Because the idea behind one of these marathon packs is like you move it in and you set it down and then you're pulling wire, like you said, hooking up to a robot and you run till this thing's, this doesn't move around the shop, but getting it to that location yeah. can be very difficult. Yeah, that's really the challenge. That's why there's, you know, we've got reinforced lifting straps now. Um, the way they're integrated into the package, it makes it easier to lift around. It's going to have, you can also get it with an option of an integrated pallet. So whether you move it with a lift truck throughout the factory or on a gantry with the straps, the idea is to be, it can move safely until it's in place and then it can just run till it's empty. So what kind of wire is available in the uh, Marathon Pack Ultra? We're, we're rolling out our various grades of wires um, over time as we integrate this into regular production. So it'll be your uh, Aristos, your normal copper coated wires, our new Purist wires, Blue Arc 86, you know, the, the standard main type of uh, steel, carbon steel products that are normally being used. So obviously this isn't short of any features that you talked about, it's got all that stuff, but is there anything else that's unique to this specific setup that people need to know about? I think the one thing that's the most unique about it is as far as we've seen, it's the only one that's got that uh, ISTA 3E rating for robustness in terms of shipping. Um, the one other thing I would add is with our new Marathon Pack Ultra, it's stackable, which that makes it a little less expensive for shipping and certainly less expensive for storage. So when someone has these, if they're bulk packing these inside a factory, they can basically stack them up and that's because of the reinforced packaging. Correct. There's usually a pallet that have to go in between, a small pallet, but as long as you do it the right way, you're saving space. Stack them to the ceiling? Not to the ceiling. You can't go to the ceiling. <laughs> Don't stack too them high. to the ceiling. <laughs> stack them too high. Too high. Until the robots are ready to burn some wire. Exactly. What's the coolest robot you've ever seen weld with one of these marathon packs? What was it building? I just think the automotive ones are the coolest because they go so fast. And the positioning of, of the weld is... It, it's fascinating what they're able to do with that. And it's not just one in a factory. You walk in and it's like Terminator. There's robots burning everywhere. And That's just wire flying out of marathon packs. Yes. 52 miles it's actually time. It's actually humbling. You walk into some automotive factory sometimes and it's like a sea of yellow um, with them using, you know, all different types of marathon packs. It's pretty cool. So there you go. If you need some wire, there's 52 miles of it in this <laughs> box. And Joe is the guy you want to call. <laughs> Can we put your cell number up on the screen? Yeah, we're, that's going to change the packaging. That's what this square <laughs> is for here. Thanks, Joe. Marathon Pack Ultra is available now. There's 52 miles of wire in there, so you can go the distance with your welding machines.
All right, fans, we're about halfway through Spark Week day two. These next two products are related to software and robotics. And if those aren't your thing, just stay with me because these products are so easy to adapt that they might just end up having you think twice. First, we're gonna talk tech. You may have heard of Weld Cloud that's been allowing shops to track welding productivity for years now. Or maybe Columbus, our nesting software for automated cutting. As I said earlier today, Aesop attacks fabrication from every angle, even the future. And the future of fabrication is connectivity. No matter what process you're running, what your shop does, or what brand of machines you're using. So I'm pumped to introduce the most forward-thinking platform of fabrication software applications, Indusuite. Navigating today's fabrication world can feel overwhelming. You're managing documentation, downtime, and quality while feeling the pressure to be more productive than ever before. Did you know that a data-driven digital solution could take your operation to the next level? The existing options can all feel somewhat intimidating, and you want to run your shop, not an IT department. Indusuite is here to help unlock your shop's true potential. It's the universal collection of digitally enabled workflow solutions for companies of any size. And it's simple to use, with real insights that give you total control. Indusuite has the tools to digitize documentation and give you access to all your welding data with easy-to-use interfaces. You'll also experience streamlined onboarding and dedicated support from our team, so that you can focus on the essentials and get right to work. You'll gain real-time insights that help achieve maximum output, with the ability to analyze your operation, identify issues, and adjust your fabrication process, you're sure to enhance quality and performance. You can report on efficiency and productivity, stay updated on how your machines are performing, and have the ultimate control to make decisions that will improve your workflow. No matter the challenge, Indusuite has the right application to get your operation working smarter. A network of apps that can be used together or individually, so you can implement a better workflow. Welding and cutting procedures developed in accordance with standards and regulations, so compliance is guaranteed. Programming for your robotic, welding, and cutting equipment to increase production. The ability to track and analyze quality, productivity, and consumption. Full traceability of all your key welding and cutting activities. Remote software upgrades to keep your equipment up to date and working optimally and it's all backed by a secure and reliable architecture. Harness the power of data. No IT experience necessary. It's time to unlock your shop's true potential with Indusuite. Lindsay, this isn't a welder. <laughs> no, it's not. You know, as a welder, I'm used to just like plugging my welder in, putting my welding helmet on, gluing a bunch of metal together, but that's not what we're talking about here, right? We're going to be no. talking about software and fab shops and integration and how all that works. So you're here to get us all schooled up on how Indusuite solves all these problems, right? Yes, exactly. So Indusuite is a one-of-a-kind platform of software solutions that is tailored to you. So no matter if we're trying to add different applications to parts of your workflow or really optimize on your productivity, we have a solution that fits um, both welding, cutting, and robotic systems. So when we took a look into the industry and our customers, we looked in to see what challenges they were facing so we could build software for it. A lot of the challenges that we were seeing was around documentation and the like complexities around the um, compliance that's in place. But then we also took a look at the cost consumption and the material consumption that's happening with these organizations. They didn't have a grasp on it um, of how they could optimize. And another one that we noticed was looking at the actual machines in the fleet. Um, are they working to the best of their abilities? They have a downtime a lot of the time because they're broken. Um, we took a look at all of that. And this is this kind of works hand in hand with the way welders have evolved. Because welders right. now basically just aren't machines that glue metal together, even though that's what I like to call them. But they are small computers that glue metal together. So Absolutely. they're able to talk, they're able to, you're able to take the machine itself and have it seamlessly talk to a software platform so you can learn all kinds of stuff from the shop floor. Exactly. There's multiple optimizations that can happen with a variety of industry products. 
as everyone knows in this industry, there's lots of different shops out there. So when a welding shop, you've got different setups. So you've got basically a manual welder and then you've got robotic shops. So how does industry work with those two different environments? Yeah, great question. So we have four Indusuite products that work within the welding workflow. The great thing about all these products is it can be at the beginning and I'll take you all the way to the end. So they have different purposes along the way. Um, they can help with things like productivity, documentation, and even help reduce downtime. So I'll give a little explanation of all the products that we have available. So we have um, a product called Well Cloud Notes. So this one is unique in the sense that it can um, be used at the beginning of your workflow and also at the end. So you can qualify all your welds and then you can upload all of your documentation, all the um, compliance re regulations that you have in place, all within one platform that's easily searchable at the end. We also have um, Octopus, an offline robot programming software. Um, so this is more on the robotic side, obviously, than the manual. But what this enables you to do is to take your programming offline in a virtual environment. So you have less downtime of your machines. So you, have, you can be more productive and it helps your bottom line because if your machines are working more and there's not weeks of downtime, there's just hours or days, you can be able to take more work on. So when day. you say offline programming, do you mean like I can basically create a sample of the weld, run it virtually before I put it into the machine? Absolutely. So no matter what um, robot you're working with, whether it's um, a KUKA or a FANUC or any of them, um, it spits out the exact code that it needs and you upload it with a USB stick right to the robot. And so instead of using a teach pendant, you use your computer. So we're basically, that robot could be completing one job. Mm -hmm. I could be programming the next job. Absolutely. And then when I'm hot swapping, it's just basically in and out. There's it's just no calibrating. Downtime. Yeah, exactly. Awesome. So then after Octopus, what's next? We have Weld Cloud um, Fleet. So Weld Cloud Fleet is um, a great product within the workflow. It allows you to understand the health of all of your machines, regardless of where they are. They could be in the same facility or worldwide. And it's all captured within one platform. So you get an easy snapshot of how things are working. So what you're telling me is that with Indusuite, I can take everything from the start of the job, so uh, weld process order, certifications, and then wrap that all up into the job itself, the certifications needed, who welded it, where they welded it, with what machine, all that in one spot. Absolutely. So we have all those four applications for the welding workflow, and you'll be able to see all of that within the Indusuite platform. In one screen on your laptop. Correct. How handy. But what about cutting? We do have cutting um, applications for that workflow. So welding is super important, but cutting is also super important. We have um, CutCloud, which is a product of ours built for cutting operation managers. So they're able to analyze and understand the productivity and the quality of the cuts that they have in one click. Um, we also have two nesting, nesting cut products um, available. So depending on the size of your facilities and operations and also what you're looking to do with the nesting cut products, we have two options. So we have a plethora. Um, we have Columbus. So Columbus is um, an easy to use, single sign-on. You're able to upload your um, part, program it, nest it based on optimizations within the cutting space. And then we're also very excited to announce we have a new partnership with um, a nest and cut um, industry leader, Elma. So Elma um, is building a, built a product, uh, their nest and cut product for more of the smaller shops that want to bring in some easy, capable um, software that they'll be able to bring into their workflow as well. So you can take all that information. So you basically set up your cut job, you basically nest it in, you can pick it, which is where you lay it out on the table. And then you'll basically have all that information, not just at the table, but you also have it in the software for your managers to keep an eye on to see what's happening. Absolutely, and to continue to optimize as well. So you'll be able to understand like, oh, you can move this piece here and there. And, and see who's putting the hole in the middle of the sheet, not at the edge of the sheet. Yes, exactly. Cheaters, <laughs> yes. It's interesting to hear that uh, you're partnering with companies like Alma. What other partnerships have you got going on with Indusuite? Yeah, so we have an exciting partnership with a company called Hexagon. So this is another new one to the Indusuite family. They're big on the uh, digital reality and um, automation space. And what we're trying to do with them is figure out what synergies we have between our two products to give, give even more benefits to our customers. So right now we're looking at um, their state-of-the-art um, Simufact um, software and partnering it up with Octopus's offline robot programming software. We're super excited to see how that will roll out over years to come and what other products we can um, co-create uh, with Hexagon. Like a video game. There you a go. A welding video game <laughs> where you have to wear a Sentinel helmet. That'd be cool. And fight aliens. <laughs> it would be the per. It'll, it's blockbuster. Go for it. <laughs> 
I want royalties. Patent that. I want royalties. <laughs> Now, this is, is this just for ESAB equipment? It's not just for ESAB equipment. So the beauty behind Indusuite and one of the great benefits of using Indusuite is we're brand agnostic. So you're able to use ESAB equipment, non-ESAB equipment. At the end of the day, we're your one-stop shop for everything welding, cutting, and robotics. And we have lots of information on our products at Indusuite.com. Thank you very much, Lindsay. Indusuite is available now to unlock your shop's true potential to track data, machinery, and processes in one spot. How sleek is that? All right, guys, we have one more reveal today. Four years ago, we introduced a machine that made long, repetitive welds a breeze. Gone were the days of manually welding a beam that felt like a mile long and it was modular, so you could break it down and move it through tight places to get it almost anywhere. That machine was VersaTrack, and it changed the welding game in shipyards, rail yards, and beyond. Now we're rolling out a more streamlined version of this beloved tractor for folks who might not need all the bells and whistles of its big brother, but still want something that's affordable and easy for all to use. Introducing the all new VersaTrack Cadet. If you know me, you know I love anything on wheels. And today we're gonna to be kicking it over to Germany to talk to Dan Colvin at Aesop's facility there, who's gonna get us all schooled up on the VersaTrack Cadet and how it's changing the welding world. Let's start at square one. Let's talk about what a welding tractor is and the value that VersaTrack Cadet is bringing. Hey Ian, I'm glad you asked. The VersaTrack Cadet is a tool for your welders. What the VersaTrack Cadet allows you to do, it gives you consistent quality from the first weld of the day to the last weld of the day. It protects your welders from the, the repetitive nature of welding itself. Whether you've got a, a six foot weld or you have a 60 foot weld, the VersaTrack Cadet gives you the same consistent quality from the beginning to the end and from the first weld to the last weld. Tell us about the wire feed mechanism and what it's capable of accomplishing. On the VersaTrack Cadet, we're pretty excited about the wire memory system. What the wire memory system does is it gives you the same feeding from the first spool to the last spool of the day. We want to be as consistent as your welds are. Part of making good welds is monitoring all the different facets, and your wire is one of them. So when you change spools of wire, we keep it the same. So if I'm a company that's new to automation, what is ESOB doing to make me more comfortable in that world? One of the things we're trying to do is take the fear out of automation. Automation is here to help you, to be a tool like we said earlier. We're excited to bring to you a welding system that's semi-automatic, that's as easy to use as a handheld system. This cadet will have a weld orientation from zero to 90 degrees. We can do butt joints with this tractor, this cadet. We can do fillet welds with the cadet. Just about anything you can think of, we're ready to make a high quality weld at a higher speed to make your welding more efficient. This is kind of like going from a push mower to a ride along. You get the same results at the end, but you do it a lot easier, a lot faster, a lot more consistent. That is a great analogy, Dan. What kind of power does this thing have underneath the hood? Ian, I knew you'd ask. The VersaTrack Cadet has a welding range of 600 to 1,000 amps. It is ready to go anywhere you want to take it. This is ideal for structural fabrication, 
for beam fabrication, for shipbuilding, for bridge building, for pressure vessels, it's ready to go all the way up to 1,000 amps. You know that I would actually like to see this thing available in four-wheel drive for my world. Hey Ian, just for you, the VersaTrack Cadet's available in two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and if you buy the two-wheel drive and want to upgrade it later, we can do that too. Like we said earlier, if you want to weld at 1,000 amps and you want to go a long way, the VersaTrack Cadet's ready to pull those cables with it. Thank you very much, Dan. There you have it. Choose a welding tractor that is designed to meet your exact needs. VersaTrack Cadet is available now. And with that, we've hit the end of Spark Week Day 2. Just like sparks, time flies. What's left? That Spark Week giveaway. Don't forget to check out the Spark Week website after this video for a chance to win. We'll see you back here tomorrow for Spark Week Day 3. What's on the agenda? Well, I can't give it all away, but I can tell you it'll be cutting edge. Don't miss it. <laughs>